dispatchers for the different states. So, that'll be cool, I guess. Uh, let's see. How does this work? So, they had an example in the book, I think. It was like... Look for the update method, do this data.data.update thing. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. You have to, like, register the systems in the game data at the beginning, so... Yep, I think that will work. Um, so right now, where does this system go? This UI event handler system is being used, but I don't know where? Probably I just used it in main and didn't really think about it. Yeah, there it is. So I just need to do the same thing, but this time I need to do like a with running type of thing. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm just trying to do like with and I think it's like button trans. No, it's like uh, main menu. Custom game. I think that's the right name. Uh, where is it? Where did I define this thing? I'm pretty sure I did this yesterday, but now I don't remember anything that I did. What? Is it game data? Oh yeah, it's game data. Okay. Yeah, okay. We need to do... with custom game. Uh-huh. Because that's a good method name. No, but seriously, I, I, I didn't really remember what I was doing. So instead of using a game data builder default, I need to use a mini rando game data builder, I think, is what it was. Yeah. I'm going to use the more verbose variety of this. What do they call it here? Oh, they also use default. Right. That's why we implemented default. And it doesn't recognize that, so we need to go and fetch that from game data, of course. Uh, that's not right. That's right. Okay, so now with that, instead of doing with bundle, I need to with base bundle everything. So you're a with base bundle. You're also a with base bundle. It's kind of weird that everything would just have to be stuck right here up front instead of like doing it later, but you know, I guess this is okay. As long as the systems are running per state, then it's it's probably okay. All right. So now I should go into custom game and instead of just doing a trans none, we want to do data.data.update. Oh, and we want to get custom game data. I just realized that this probably isn't going to work anymore, is it? No, I don't think I can use simple states, because simple state requires a game data, but I'm using custom game data. Can I, can I verify that somewhere? Because I didn't want to make a simple game to begin with, I guess. But how was I supposed to know? Sometimes you just have to make a decision and go with it until it doesn't work so that you know, hey, this is what I should have done. I know some people get really like hung up on these kinds of decisions and they don't know what to do and they just become absolutely paralyzed and can't move forward because they're just so unsure of what's going to happen. Like they're so deathly afraid of having to like make a change or like undo some work and do something else. And I, I don't really understand that mentality, but uh, whatever works for some people. So, simple state, where are you? I have no idea. 
I bypassed it already. Simple. There it is. Simple trans. Simple state. Yeah, it contains a game data as a state data. No custom. Okay, no custom state event. Got it. So if I wanted to do a game that actually has systems running on a per state basis, then I would want not want to use a simple game or a simple state. I'd want to use a regular state. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, I definitely don't want to use an empty state. That's even less helpful. So I guess we just want to use plain old state. Yeah. So I don't really have good examples of how that would be used, I think. Although the book... Where's the book? The book's here. Oh yeah, look. They, they do this, so... I basically should just do that. Yeah. Alright, I do have a pretty good example. So no more simple states. We just want to use regular states. It's kind of unfortunate, but if we can make that switch, then everything should be pretty good. And of course, everything's under prelude in the star import, so looking for it isn't going to help. I don't know why I thought that I could just, you know, poke around for it and it would show up, but no. That's not how it works. So we want to use the... oh boy. <laughs> custom game and custom game data I mean totally different things in this context because custom game is for is it referring to a randomizer but custom game data is referring to just having a different type of game data. So that's kind of silly. Which is a good thing why I'm calling it mini rando game data instead. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I called it. Yeah. Seems good to me. State event, and then that. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think it's going to complain if I do that. Although now it's complaining that, oh, I don't have that. Uh, okay. So what, I'd use like super, super duper? Super, super, super. Game data. Yep, okay. <laughs> you know what? Instead of doing it that way, I should probably just stick it into this. What? What do you mean I can't super in here? Unexpected? I can't super? You mean I can only super up here? That sucks. Really? Okay, that's actually kind of lame. I didn't know that. I learned something today. I learned that the module system kind of sucks. Well, at least this version of it. I don't know, the newer one might be better. Since apparently they fixed a bunch of stuff, but wow, that sucks. I mean, that's super silly. And I don't even mean this kind of super. Okay, well... Now all our trans will have to be not simple trans. They will have to be actual real trans, which kind of sucks. And our state data for everything isn't going to be game data anymore either. It's going to have to be mini random game data, which might have lifetimes attached to it. No, no, no it doesn't. At least that. So I should just be able to do this, and for trans... Oh, trans. Trans is... Yeah, it also takes the same arguments as the state. So that's a little bit verbose, but there's not really much I can do about that. I can see why they would make different variants for different types of games, but honestly, um, I'm okay with just using, you know, just having the one variant. Well, that's just me. What are you complaining about? 
What? Game data? State event? Oh, is it because of this? Oh yeah, it's, a it's definitely because of this. Okay, well. Alright, that should work. What do you mean, not wrong number of type parameters? Okay, there we go. It just took a bit to kick in. So, what's going on? Oh, I guess I have to change it here, too. Oh, I just realized that's bad. Yeah, because I had a simple trans before, which didn't have any type parameters, but now I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. So that sucks. Actually, no, that's okay. That's, that's totally fine. I don't know what I'm talking about. I can still do this. Because I'm going to be using mini Randall Game Data no matter what. That's system agnostic. So we're, we're still fine. I'm just being a silly butt. Alright, do that. State event. I think that should be okay. I don't think it's going to complain anymore if I wait like 10 seconds. Oh, well, it's going to complain about that, but that's pretty simple to fix, I think. Just need to use super, super duper. Probably not the best way of doing this, but so I'm doing it. Let me guess, this is actually a level above, so there's no super, 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 is there? Nope, there is no super, super, super. I'm being silly. I only need super, super. Now I will stop complaining. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now if I go back to custom game, it should stop complaining about that. Cool. And you are going to have to update as well. Oh yeah, I need to paste that in there. I think we're good. Oh yeah, and this is using these. So I don't need to put the lifetime parameters in front of the methods. So if I do this... I like how IntelliJ is trying to be helpful by adding the extra, like, closing, uh, you know, alligator, but then I don't want it, so it's actually slowing me down. Alright, so... Instead of doing this state trans none, now we have to do this data dot data dot update. So let's do that. We give it what? I forgot. What am I clicking? Don't click this. What have I done? Why am I clicking stuff? So what happens when you're bad at mousing? I should just alt tab between things. That'd be so much better, right? Cool. And now I can give it Oh I need a I need one of those um variants, don't I? That sucks. It's okay, I can do it from here. Get game data what is it? State dispatcher? Sure. Also I never looked back at the old footage to figure out what the better name was. I'm I'm so bad. I'm gonna do it after this. And actually, I'm probably going to say, no, that's not a better name, but... I'm not going to care. Was it custom game, is what I called it? Yeah, custom game. Now we can do a... Oh, wait, no, I should probably... Well, actually, yeah, that would be a unit. That should return unit, because we're dispatching stuff, right? Or we're just sending, like, the dispatcher? Yeah, and then we do transmit. Okay, 
So we did actually want to keep the trans nun. Oh god, why did I do that for? My fingers are so clumsy today. Just pressing all the keys. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, don't really have anything else that I want to do here. I think that's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna do the same thing for these guys then. Because, yeah, we're not gonna want to do this anymore. So now I understand the difference between them. And that's good. Because to me that is progress. And uh, now I have the hiccups. <laughs> this is a really good time to have hiccups. By the way. Are you okay? You wanna... okay. Cool. I'm gonna do that and that. I could just do a find replace maybe for game data and then get rid of all those game datas, but... I, I, I'm, I'm paranoid. Just a little bit. That's why. I was wondering, like, what was going on. Alright, there we go. This is also too long for my liking, so I'm going to break it out across different lines. event. Cool. Alright, main menu is done, and now play probably also needs this as well. Yeah, it does. So I can probably do that here, and here, and probably get rid of, well, I can move my cursor properly. Like that. I know about those red underlines. I do see them. I'm just waiting. Custom game. Oh no, what was it? Game data? Yeah. Now we take that, and we're good. I will have to get the variants later when I do the uh, when I get the dispatchers, but for now this is fine. And this should hopefully still run properly. I don't think I've done anything like wrong, but I did do sort of a restructure right now, so there's a chance that stuff won't compile. Gotta be sure. Kind of slow compiling right now, though, so... It seems kind of promising, maybe? Nope, it is not. Oh! Ha! <laughs> Wait. Is this from... Oh. Oh, he misspelled it. I'm dumb. Wow. Well, I didn't misspell it, I just didn't camel case it properly. So there we go. What? What do you mean there's no system bundle? I need the system bundle! Where... wait, what? Isn't system bundle used somewhere here? It is! Wait, where did system bundle come from then? This is what happens when your documentation is very unclear about where stuff comes from. Alright, system bundle. Come out wherever you are. 
Amethyst Core! Oh, wow. So, it's actually from the same place as this, which is kind of funny because the example totally didn't group the two imports together. It just. It had Arc Threadpool, and that was it. And said, yep, the other one? Uh, well, maybe it's on a separate line. Wait, what? Trying to access... Wait, access to external crates through Prelude is experimental. Are you kidding? I can't do that? If I, what if I use Amethyst? How's that? Huh? Oh, are you kidding? What do you mean you can't find system? Oh, probably because system's coming from here, and I didn't add that. I didn't add it. Are you kidding? What? Incompatible type for trait? Expected state data found immutable reference. Wait, really? Is this not supposed to be a mutable reference to state data? Did I screw something up? Where is custom game? Where is update? No, that seems right. Oh yeah, they all have this now. Oh, wait. Ah, because I'm using... I'm using, uh... Update. Yeah, I'm using plain old update instead. Okay, I get it. Huh. So instead of taking a mutable reference, you actually take ownership of the state data. Okay. I guess that's fine. It's not like, uh... That's really gonna cause problems. Right, I, I even noted that difference earlier in like a previous part, but yeah, it didn't occur to me now how that would... what? No method name dispatcher found for type amethyst shred dispatcher in the current scope. Oh. Wait, what? Um, that's not right. I'm pretty sure there should be some kind of dispatcher there. There's a book. Oh wait, it is dispatch. Wow, I'm so bad. <laughs> I, I'm so bad at everything I do. Ah, okay, that's... That makes sense. Why did I call this dispatcher? I guess because I read this and I was like, oh yeah, this is to get the dispatcher. No, this is when we actually do the dispatching. Why do we need to get the dispatcher again? Especially for um, a function that returns void. Or not void, wow. Unit. Type algebra, people hate him. What? Standard error? This is not standard error. This is an amethyst error. Cool. Uh, can you do like an import as Rust? Because this is super annoying. I, I'd rather just rename stuff. I don't know what the syntax would be for that. I know you can do it. Like you can like rename the import to something else. Uh, what was it? Was it like file rust? Maybe that will tell me. Because I know one of these examples does that, but I just can't remember where it was. It was either like file or it was something else. It wasn't file. Dang. It was probably cursor or something. I don't remember the syntax. <laughs> this is not... This is not helpful. Why don't you just rename import? Fine. Rename import rust. Use deeply nested. Okay. 
as. It is as. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm really not happy with the way that this is going because of the different names. It's it's kind of stupid. Oh wait, can I do? Oh, I know what to do. And it's probably error as amethyst error. It's probably better. Then I can differentiate between the two. I think that's going to be okay. So now when I go amethyst error. Wait, or what was it? Amethyst result? Yeah. And I can just change this to be amethyst result. And change this to be amethyst this error. That should work. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. Learning silly things about the way that this uh, is built or structured. And yeah, there are, there's a whole bunch of unused stuff now. I'm, it's starting to really build up at this point. I, I really need to clean up all this soon before it becomes out of control. Whoa. Are you okay? <laughs> That's decidedly not very okay. Oh yeah, look at that. That's... It's having a lot of trouble for some reason. That's weird. Did I do something bad? I mean, probably. Oh wow, um, yeah, that's that's really weird. Why is it? It's not responding. Okay, let's do this, I guess, and see what happens. I I want to make sure that this thing is okay because I don't want to I don't want to get stuck like that. It might have gotten stuck for some like weird reason. Or it could just, you know, get stuck suddenly for no reason. That's cool. What? Why is it broken like this now? It's able to load everything correctly. So that's that's really annoying. Cause this was working <laughs> last time. I think my computer is having troubles for some reason. I don't know why though. Huh. So this in theory should work, but I don't know why my machine is not able to run the game anymore. That's super annoying. Uh, well, anyway, at any rate, it's compiling, so hey. Mission accomplished, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of working, but kind of not. I was going to do something, and then I completely forgot what I was going to do. Yep, I completely forgot what I was going to do, and now I don't know what I'm doing. Is it because I need to do, what, like a dispatch here? That could be it. Maybe I need to do a dispatch here, even though I don't have anything to dispatch. be kind of weird, but it's, it's possible that's my problem. It's waiting for something to happen, but nothing's happening. Let's try it, because this is the first state that we go into. How about this? This is the first state we enter. Now we're going to actually do an update. Let's we'll see what happens. I'm kind of afraid, like... It doesn't, it doesn't seem to work as well as it was working earlier. Okay, there we go. Phew, that was the problem. 
So with that in place now, if I go to custom game, it should now, yeah, all right, cool. So now it's running systems on a per state basis. That is super cool. I'm very happy with that progress today. Uh, yeah, so now that we have all this working, let's, uh, I'd say now is a good time to start learning how to delete entities or delete um, stuff from the old state because I don't really want that stuff there anymore. It's really not helpful. So let's do a switch instead of a push because I don't really... I, I want to be able to go back and forth between those states. I don't want to like stack like on top even more stuff. Although technically what I could do is when you click back it pops the state instead. I could do that instead. But if I did that, um, yeah, the, what I'm concerned about is later when I go into the play state, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna want to push the play state on to the stack, and then when I push the play state on, and then eventually pop it off later, or yeah, I'm probably gonna do like a switch to an end state and then pop that end state back. I don't want to just end up. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do want to end up back at like the custom game screen. I don't know. You know, I never really thought about it. Because people don't necessarily want to be kicked out back to the title screen. So, it, uh, you know, there's, there's actually a pretty good uh, reason to want to keep this as a push. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to pop that state later. And then we're going to decide to do whatever with it. So let me jot that down quickly on the uh, paint thing. So we're going to be able to push and pop here. I'm going to say this is a, well, yeah, th this one will be a push. This one will be a pop. And we're going to add a new edge that goes from here to possibly here. And this will, these will both just be pops. So yeah, now I'm getting into the finer details of how everything is going to be structured. Because yeah, this will definitely be a push. This will also be a push. This will be a push. This will be a switch. So if I switch to the end state from the play state, then I can just pop, and then I'll end up back at the last, uh, you know, menu state that I was in. So I like that the best because, like, think about like a game such as um, Super Smash Brothers. In Smash, you go down a few layers to like the character selection screen, then you go into like the stage select screen, and then from the stage select screen you go into like the actual game itself, but then when you finish a match and go to the, like, the victory screen, you don't go all the way back to the title screen. You go, you, don't, you, you also don't go back to the stage select screen, but you do go back to the character select screen. So yeah, just thinking about how that could be implemented. Um, I think what I'm doing here probably makes more sense. I don't know, just my opinion. When I do the pop, I'm just going to want to clean up everything in here. Uh, I might regret this decision later, because when I pop, I'm not going to know which state I'm going to. Like, I could end up in main menu, I could also end up in the seated game, and depending on which one I go to, I might want to, you know, do something different, but... I think I'm not going to want to, like clear any state of seeded game if I pop back up there. Like, I'm gonna keep the seed there. In case, like, people wanna pick up the seed and then you know, do something with it from this menu. Uh, they they have to manually click, like, regenerate seed to get a new seed. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. That's... Yeah, that seems to cover it, in my opinion. Oh, these pushes are probably... they should be here, but oh well. It, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's pretty clear when you have like a one-way arrow what this word is referring to. So yeah, I'm, 
I, I, I like the way that I have this structured right now already. So with that, now I need to figure out how to delete the entities when I do a pop. So I, I do need to make sure that I can click back and leave the custom game menu as well, but first of all, when we go to the custom game menu, we want to also be able to delete the entities that we see. So let's do that. Let's look for some good examples. I'm probably going to stop in like 10 minutes anyway, so I don't expect to really get into this, get into this, but I expect to get at least some, uh, what, what do you call it, research done? Because that's what I tend to like to do. Just do research phase and then do like a development phase. But where am I going to figure out how that works? Where? What's the best way to handle that? Is what I'm wondering. It's kind of funny remembering back when Amethyst didn't allow you to even run systems on a per state basis. And I had once tried to roll my own little engine, and like you, it, and it did allow you to do that. And I was proud of that, but <laughs> but I mean Amethyst is it's so much bigger of a project, so yeah. It was pretty inevitable that they were going to eventually be able to support it, but back then, man, it was—it really wasn't all that usable. I found, so I'm glad to see that this is now an option, even if it isn't really the most ergonomic thing in the world. At least um, the way that I have it implemented. I don't know. There might be a better way of doing it. There probably is, but oh well. I I haven't thought about it. So, uh, what do I, what do I want to do exactly? Entities? Should I delete entities? Or do I need to delete... Uh, oh, I need to delete components from storages, don't I? And probably unregister the entities as well. Or maybe that doesn't really matter. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure how cleanup works. <laughs> That's, uh... Huh. There's no method to properly delete a resource added to the world. The usual method to achieve something similar is to add an option my resource is set to none when you want to delete it. Okay. That's an interesting way of handling things. How about component? You have to be kidding. There, ha there needs to be a way to delete stuff from the screen. Like, come on. Didn't someone post about this recently, too, on, like, Rust Game Dev? I'm pretty sure someone did, actually. Yeah, here we go. Wait, didn't someone post a comment on this saying how to fix it? I could have sworn that someone did. Yeah, there's five comments. Oh, this is cross-posted, that's why. No way, this is for input bundle? Oh, this is not... Okay, this is not the same issue. Well, that's kind of annoying. That's not helpful. Ah, crap. I do need to get rid of those entities somehow, though. Yeah, okay. That's not going to be used anymore. Well, I already am doing stuff with it. I haven't updated that in a while. We should do that. What is this? Oh, this is result. Well, I don't really care. Attributes. I already know about attributes. Yeah, these are inner attributes. So, components. 
I need to delete stuff. <laughs> I need to delete entities somehow. And the only way I can think of doing that is removing the components from them. Oh, okay, here we go. Prepare to destroy entities in the context of a system. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Somehow. I'm not really sure how, though. Huh. It has to be doable, though. It's It definitely is. Okay, that spawns enemies. Enemies don't build entity. Well, yeah, that's not really helpful. I want to delete my entities now, but I don't know how. Like these prefabs need to go away. <laughs> go away, prefabs. Entities not delete entity. Can I delete all? Okay, what is an entities? I want I want to know what that is. An entities is probably in the documentation somewhere actually. Now that I think about it. Now this is a specs book that's also possibly helpful sometimes. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's look for entities. I'm sure it's somewhere, but probably not in Shrev. Let's get out of Shrev. ECS Prelude Entities? It seems right. Is there nothing else here? Huh. Where do I go to find entities? I guess I can search for it in the repo. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I was kind of hoping I could find the actual, you know, entities component thing. Or storage, or whatever the hell it is. But this is not... oh man, seven pages of this. Uh, that's not exactly helpful. Let's go look at Specs Prelude Entities, because that seems to be the only way I'm going to be able to find this thing. So it should be under ECS? Amethyst... Where's Amethyst ECS? Is that not here anymore? Is that under here? Prelude. But what about ECS Prelude? Okay, I don't know. I could have sworn there was like an ECS module and then the ECS Prelude existed under it. I'm going to have to look up where ECS Prelude is defined. Unless they re-export specs as ECS. That could be it. Entities might just be part of specs. Yeah, that's entirely possible. Yep, there we go, specs as ECS. Alright, so I need to go search through ECS land, or specs. Specs! Rust. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's not what I'm looking for. 
I really wonder when those people from the uh, Play Rust subreddit will figure out not to go to r slash rust anymore. There's always those posts that keep coming in from people who are expecting. Uh, or, wait, was it r slash Play Rust? Yeah. They come from like they want to post stuff for the game, but they post it on the stuff for, on the subreddit for the language, and it's just like if you even read like. <laughs> two or three posts or like anything about the subreddit at all. Well, I don't know like how you would have made that mistake. And yet it still keeps happening. Entities. Use world entities. Okay. Poly in here. Yeah, there it is. It's just a read. It, there's literally nothing else to it. It's just a type alias. Okay. World dot entities. Is that a method? I can just go world dot entities. Can I just go to world dot entities and then for each delete? Because that would be cool. I was in here somewhere, right? There was like a entities not delete, right? I I saw that somewhere. Now I don't remember. Where did I see that? Roro. Oh yeah, here we go. Entities not delete. So if I can get world entities, then I can do entities not delete entity. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wait, how does that work with the borrow checker? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out uh, next time because I'm not gonna implement that right now. <laughs>